I'm Jake Bruton, and today on the Build Show Network, I wanna look at the plan section for our Hilltop House, and I wanna to talk to you about why we focus our specific air sealing details in specific locations. Let's do it now. Obviously, if we have our, our option, we're gonna air seal absolutely everything. Uh, meaning, all around the entire envelope, we're gonna work on air sealing, we're gonna work on continuity, we're gonna make sure that everything is connected, continuous, and well detailed. However, we're gonna focus our efforts in specific locations, and I'm gonna tell you why. And the reason why is the stack effect. While I don't have Steve's big red today, I do have a set of his plans, so we're gonna draw on them. So when we talk about, and you have to forgive my drawing, this is, we're gonna pretend like that's warm air. Uh, you know, we always say heat rises. Well, not exactly, warm air rises. So air that has been warmed tends to rise, which creates a higher pressure zone on the upper half of our building, which if we have air pushing its way upward means that we have a negative pressure zone at the low points in our building. So somewhere in between the two, we have an equal pressure plane. And if we have that equal pressure plane, anything that is in that equal pressure plane from side to side say, we're not really worried about windows or, or door locks and things like that leaking in this equal pressure zone because it's not really being challenged the same way our high and low are being challenged. So when we're talking about the basement, we're talking about concrete walls, a concrete floor, and while there might be joints in that concrete, or uh, separate pores, cold joints, all of that happens below grade. So what, what are we gonna leak from that concrete wall to dirt? We're not. So we're not particularly worried about those below grade sections. At grade, we transition to concrete wall. Uh, as Steve always says, you know, let's make an argument that concrete's an air barrier, put your lips against it and try to blow through it. If you're not gonna be able to move air through it, I'm not worried about it. So therefore, our first connection point that I'm concerned with is concrete to sill plate. You've seen this detail a bunch of times. We have the bead of sealant on top of the concrete. We have our sill sealer. We have another bead of sealant, and then we have our plate. And then we use the force of the building to mash all that flat and provide a non-securitous route or a securitous route for air to leak in at that point. So we put a lot of detail into that sill connection because it's our lowest connection that we're worried about air sealing that's above grade. So that's the highest point of negative pressure. The top joint is all of our lid, all of our ceiling, and I'm gonna also include the heads of our windows upstairs as being under high pressure. So we're putting more effort uh, or more focused effort into all of this top detail uh, and you've seen this before, we talk about it all the time. Our zip wraps onto that piece of Advantech and then we're sealing all of our drywall. We're putting in one continuous ceiling. We're doing specific details with sealant up there. And basically, I think we can make that argument that while we want everything air sealed, that low and that high and that pressure difference, uh, we're not worried about the middle. We're not worried about the equal pressure zone. We're worried more about the high and low because that's where we're gonna have more infiltration or exfiltration. The interesting thing is when you put that to test with the blower door, because we test the house under equal pressure on all surfaces. So our blower door test doesn't necessarily represent the normal operation of the house. It's just a method for us to pressurize the house and test the entire envelope with equal pressure. That way we can find whatever leaks we have. So think about the next time you start air sealing or start designing for air sealing, you think about the stack effect, think about the high, the low, and the neutral pressure plane, and maybe apply your efforts differently. Thanks for watching the Build Show this week. Make sure you subscribe to that newsletter Mr. Reisinger sends out every Friday morning. Uh, he lets you know what Steve, Wade, Brent, and myself are putting out, and him. He's on here multiple times a week too. We're all putting out videos. I learned from those guys. I'm really happy to be involved. Don't forget to check out the Unbuild It podcast and to follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.